Hello, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Nefaya Galindo and this is my client Fismar. This is the name of the brand and this presentation I will explain you what I did during this semester. So the first thing that we need to identify the social media key performance indicators. Um, today, the page obtained 1,473 followers during the whole time working with. This is the followers. The likes were was 1,397. The total likes of the page uh, reached. This is the key performance indicators. The goals of my client uh, were three: customer acquisition, engagement, and following. The first one, customer acquisition, we wanted like invite women, where like who who buy the, the product and post one of those uh, pictures uh, of her dressing up one of the dresses taking FISMAR and using the hashtag FISMAR always with you or in Spanish siempre contigo. We decided to perform this because we wanted to obtain more customers. The engagement we were working with the branding. In other words we decided to start to work with the cover page and the profile page, the, pro the cover picture and the profile picture because Fismar, it's a good company, it's a good business, but it's not pre-recognizable. So um, to make it recognizable, we decided to modify the cover picture. Then the following, we decided like a scheduled post periodically to establish a conversation with the audience, at least two or three posts per week, focusing in new dresses, organic conversation, tensor based and challenges. And that way we were working with the three different um, engagement strategies, storytelling, utility, and entertainment. These were the goals. The buyer personas uh, identified for my client were the next. The primary buyer persona you can identify here. My name is Marta. I would like to focus only on the challenges and goals. You may find here all the information necessary for the buyer persona. We made our research surveys in order to obtain this information. One of the challenges of her is to spend time with her daughter. One of the goals is feel happy with her achievements. So Marta Lopez is the primary buyer persona because according to the insights of FISMAR, the age of, of people who buy products of FISMAR it's an average and 20 years old, 35 years old, and it's woman. The secondary buyer persona is Sofia Martinez. And again, the secondary persona we found in the insights of Fismar, like the average, it's between 20 and 25, 27, 8 years old. The challenges of Sofia Martinez is she wants to spend time with his friends. And one of her goals is finish the university. What is the reason for we decided to use these two uh, buyer personas? The first one, because um, Fismar likes to work with storytelling. The storytelling, we produce content for uh, produce um, memory call moments with her family. That's one of their challenges because the first one, she doesn't spend time with her friends with her daughter and the second one she doesn't have time she's not organized and she likes to spend time with his friends but sometimes she spends so much time and she's not paying attention to the most important thing so we are going to use this challenge in order to convert in something beneficial for us what i'm saying i'm saying like our products she can be like a micro influencer because she is going to recommend if she likes her dresses this is the reason for the primary and the secondary buyer persona. Now, the social media channels were two. Number one, Instagram. Number two, Facebook. The insights obtained in the first part was Facebook. During this I, um, semester, we were working more with Facebook. Instagram works just to show our dresses. We don't establish a specifically um, audience or conversation with our customers. Facebook was the principal channel to use in this campaign. So now I'm going to tell you about a proposed post to post on Facebook. Images, 
maybe NVIDIA's tags and calls to action, you will find the next. As you can see here, we are, taught, we are working with the storytelling. How much do you spend time with your daughter? Match dresses with her. The CTA, call to action, click on the link to see your models. And then we have someone with sister, uh, sister missionaries. And if you he see here, now we start to work with entertainment because we want to have an a organic conversation with our clients and provide um, discounts and invite them to post pictures of her dressing up one of the dresses. It's gonna be helpful for us. And here's more storytelling. And something that I like was the break I gave away. We were working with the summer and we decided to make a, a, a giveaway. This giveaway was pretty successful. And that's the reason for we obtained those 1,485 um, followers and the number of those increased. In a few moments more, I'm going to show you where were the original uh, data and what was the achievement. Yes, perfect. So now the content strategy. After two review, my client, we, uh, my client, worked so hard with two storytelling and utility. Because of this, we decided, like we saw before, um, the post of entertainment. Because we were working so hard with the storytelling and utility, asking like, what do you think about it? Why do you like? What model do you prefer? In a storytelling, such as we want to make part, we want to be part of your favorite moments. We want to be uh, part of your wedding, like for a woman, uh, for pregnant woman. So that's the reason of after to research. This is the information that we obtain: fifty percent for storytelling and fifty percent for utility, and both of them are for Instagram and for Facebook. The content calendar. After to, uh, to show you my, the eight proposed uh, posts, uh, we made a content calendar. In this content calendar, we break, broke down throughout a month, week one, week two, week three, week four, and a specific time, date, the message, the link, the upper link, the campaign, the name of the campaign, and image. I will show you in a few moments more the result of this, but all of this, campaign and images were the post proposed. And here we have the same one, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, because we decided to post a Monday to Sunday. Now, let, please, uh, I'm going to talk about the results. We've decided to work with the organic campaign. The organic campaign obtained, the original was 1,284 followers. The, the final result was at least almost 200 uh, more than the original one. The likes, it was almost the same. And the likes obtained, and the original likes were 1,284. And the final result was 1,397. Because of this, we were applying three different points, storytelling, utility, entertainment. This was our strategy to work with in this month. Let me show you the results of the calendar. If you can see the mom and daughter, discounts, sister missionaries, models, discounts, mom and daughter, sister missionaries, and discounts. We have the clicks, likes, shares, and comments. As you can see here, uh, and the giveaway, it obtained a lot of clicks because we decided to invite more people to come and see our products for free. So technically, this is where the results of the post propose. So let me explain you what I learned and what I discovered of myself. So the first thing that you need to know, and during this semester, I learned like, it's pretty important to identify my client's objectives. Ask them. It's just one of the most important things. I think it's gonna be a rule. You need to ask them and you need to identify what they want. Then see if it's possible and make a research about what you can do. Second, 
identify the clients by your personas. After to make a research of demographic, psychographic, hairographic information, you will obtain more information and you will be able to uh, know what is the primary persona and what is the secondary persona. Third, identify client's content strategy. It is important that you made a research of the last 30 posts on any single channel of your client has, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and identify what they were doing well and what we can do different from storytelling, utility, and entertainment. Then we need to identify what images, videos, text, call to action we can use in our client's campaign. That means that if we some, use something for Instagram, we cannot use it for uh, Facebook. It needs to be completely different. But we need to look up the insights and identify uh, what was better. If this post was better, how many likes this obtained? If it was better than the other one, what we can do to improve for the next time. Then we need to identify the engagement strategies to use in an ad of campaign. That's what I'm talking about. We need to identify the image or post or text, or, and then we need to identify the call to action. And we need to decide if this is storytelling, entertainment, and utility, and why. Because we are going to create ads. The other part is about mock-ups and ads and posts. Mock-ups is one of the most important things. Something that I learned here is you need to propose to your client, show them, give the opportunity to participate and to involve. Even when you are working and you are doing the hardest part, you need to involve them. And you need to say, hey, this is what I made. What do you think about it? Would you like to add something? And you will realize that you will obtain a lot of information from them. Analyze, analyze the performance of your social media marketing campaign. This is one of the most important things. Any single social media campaign needs to be measured. And if we don't measure our campaign, we, are, we will be lost. So we need to identify what is working well and what is not working well. And how do we know this? Through the insights obtained. We need to retrieve the data from Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media platform are we using. Then, what was it like working with a real client? What did you do well? And what will you do better next time? Like I already said, there's something that I, you need to, that I need to focus on. It's talk with your client. Understand what he or she wants. If they want to do something, what are their goals? What are the expectations? Have frequently meetings and identify how the progress is going to be. Then, what did you learn about communicating with your client? Uh, though pitching ideas and receiving feedback, what would you do different next time? Honestly, you, the feedback that I received, it was awesome. There was nothing that I, I could do nothing without a feedback. We are learning and always, uh, even when we are studying this, we need to receive feedback from them because they are the CEO, they are the bosses and we need to understand what they want and adjust. Something that I really I like is find solutions immediately. Provide solutions to your client. Then if you are wrong, don't feel fear afraid and say like, okay, we can do this. We can improve in this way. I was studying this and I made the research. This can help in something that I will do. If your client asks you to create another campaign for them, what specific recommendations would you have for them for the future campaigns? What recommendations would you make regarding future images, videos, text, call to actions or channels. As you can see here, you will identify these T points and you need, and my, I will recommend to my client, one, identify the vision statement. This is the most important thing because we need to know what, why, and how do we do something? What are her go his goals or her goals, goals of the client? Make a research of the insights. Number four, how was the last campaign? Identify what did well and what we can do different for our next time. Target the audience and create a primary and secondary bio persona. Then create mockups based on the objectives of my client. Identify the engagement strategy, entertainment, utility, and storytelling. Create a content calendar. Nine, create engaging posts with CTA, call to action, to take the client to the website and identify if you want to an organic or pay ads campaign. This is what my recommendations are. Um, this is what I did. I, I hope you can understand what I said. And if you have any questions, please let me know. This is what 
I did during these 13 weeks, and these were the results. My name is Nefa Avenida Galindo, and this is Fismar. And this is the campaign that I made for uh, this social media class marketing strategy.